What is up flockers? That is my fellow lockers and aspiring lockers. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the pros of micro locking. And I might even have a couple of ones that aren't on the list of everybody else that maybe you've already listened to. So if you wanna check those out, then stick around. Like I said, I have a list of pros of why you should go ahead and join the micro locked family. And I do have a couple that I feel like may not be on everyone else's list. The lists tend to be pretty generic for the majority of people on here, but I feel like the flockers have come through and given me a couple of extra things that I didn't think of and that I haven't heard before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I wanna share those with y'all. So let's get into it. I will go ahead and go through the obvious ones first, the ones that you probably have heard elsewhere, because who knows, maybe this is someone's first time on this channel, first time seeing my face. So I wanna go ahead and let them know the whole list of pros before I go on to the new ones and not just skip straight to the new ones, all right? So the first one that I'm going to say as a pro to having micro locks is hair freedom. Now that is a very big, vast bubble, but uh, first of all, I don't know. I sat up here and got on this camera ashy. And I guess I could just stop recording and go upstairs and put some lotion on, but ain't got time for all that. So I'm gonna try not to talk with my hands so much and y'all try not to look so hard, okay? <laughs> but anyways, hair freedom is a pretty vast, wide thing to say. Uh, you'll hear people say it all the time, there's hair freedom, but there truly is hair freedom when you have your hair, not just micro lock, but locked in general. But I'm talking about micro locks today, all right? I just passed my niece upstairs. She's upstairs doing her hair. She has beautiful, thick, loose, natural hair. And it's always easy to talk about how someone else's hair is so beautiful and thick and dense and all that stuff when it's not your head and not your hands that have to do all the work to get it to do what you want it to do. So I literally walked by and I was like, okay, curls. And she looked at me and she was like, oh. <laughs> she's just exhausted and she just started. Um, but yeah, her, her loose natural hair, it's beautiful, it's thick, it's wonderful, but it does take a lot of time and commitment when she has to sit there and do it. I mean, I saw the, the gel that she had out, I saw the spray bottle, the multiple combs and things that she had laid out just to get her hair done. So it was a whole lot, a whole lot. She probably had some, some leave-in conditioner and some other products that she has to put into her hair in order to get the desired look that she wants. There's hair freedom and the fact that you're not gonna need as many products if if any products at all. Some people with micro locks and sister locks don't need any products at all um, outside of just spraying water. Some may not even spray water. So you definitely use less products. You have hair freedom in the sense that you're not having to do all the stuff that you were doing when you were loose natural. So that's the first big one. The next one on the list of things that I would call the obvious list and pros of having micro locks or sister locks is the fact that you're not having to do your hair as often. When you have loose natural hair or whatever, you know, you're having to do your hair pretty consistently. You might be able to, to put in a style or something that you can stretch for a week or two weeks until your next wash day. But for the most part, you're having to redo your hair and do your hair, detangle and all that stuff on a regular basis. With micro locks and sister locks, you're not having to go and do all of that stuff. You're not having to maintain your hair. You maintain your hair probably once a month, once every six weeks, once every two months, you know, depending on what your schedule is, how quickly your hair grows and whatnot will determine your maintenance schedule. But it's just every other day of the week besides that one day that you use for maintenance or two in my case, because I break it up and just do a couple of hours on day one, a couple hours on day two, don't have to do anything else to your hair unless you want to put it in a style. But other than that, there's no other maintenance that is required for my hair. And that is awesome. The third pro on the obvious list of why you should get micro locks or sister locks is that your hair always looks good. Whether you have a fresh retie, whether you're several weeks out and your scalp is not visible anymore, but regardless, like your hair looks good. You wake up in the morning, you know, it might be pushed back like this from your bonnet, spray a little water on it, give it a little shake, and you're ready to go out the door. Your hair always looks good, and that is a huge pro, a huge plus of why it's great to have micro locks or sister locks. And another thing on the list of my obvious list of why it is a pro to have locks, micro locks or sister locks, is the fact that they often mimic natural, loose natural hair. Depending on what stage you're in, depending on the length of your hair, depending on, you know, if you do braid outs and stuff like that, there are a lot of times where your micro locks or your sister locks will mimic loose natural hair. People don't know if it's a, uh, a wash and go or, or if it's just, like I said, depending on the size of them too. Sometimes people's locks are so tiny 
and so thin that it, it literally looks like just strands of hair as opposed to interlocking or braids or twists or anything like that. So it can mimic loose natural hair. Okay, now we are finally on to the list. It's a shorter list, but the list of ones that I don't think are as obvious and ones that I don't feel like I've heard many people talk about or hear on a regular basis that are also pros as to why you should go ahead and lock it up, get your micro locks, get your sister locks. And the first thing on that, which I know I have heard other people say, but I don't think it's talked about enough, is the length retention. I feel like in the natural hair community, something that is so big and so hit on, and it, it is length retention. The biggest problem that I feel like we have in our community is our hair breaking off, whether it's because of chemicals, whether it's because of the elements and weather that we're around, whether it's the water that we're washing our hair with, the products that we're using. Our hair seems to go through stages or whatever you wanna call it, where it can be brittle, where it can it can break off it can have damage to it and whatnot and so you know there's this myth that black people can't grow long hair and black people don't have long hair and that's not true and you don't have to have locks to have long hair because there's plenty of people who who chemically process their hair who perm their hair who have extremely long hair um there's loose naturals that have extremely long hair you know tailbone and whatnot so i'm not saying that you have to have locks in order to gain the length but if you have ever been on a hair journey and you're just like my hair does not seem to grow it gets to a certain point and then it doesn't grow anymore or i'm constantly having my hair breaking off i can't figure out what i'm doing wrong locks might be for you i'm telling you when you have any type of locks whether they're traditional locks freeform locks you have micro locks you have sister locks I don't want to call it a protective style because there's this whole thing like when you think of protective style you think of braids box braids stuff like that but in essence your hair is more protected than it would be if it was every single strand fighting for itself so in essence it is kind of like a protective style and what does your hair do when it's in a protective style when it's in box braids and things like that it typically tends to grow you know you leave your box braids and i don't know for six weeks two months and then when you take them out You've got new growth you've got your hair that's grown you hopefully you don't have breakage on the ends of your hair because your hair has been braided up and protected and whatnot same kind of sense here your hair is protected every hair is not having every strand of hair is not having to fend for itself you know it's got a community of hairs that it locks with that it makes it stronger and so it has the ability to grow out and not to break off now, are you going to shed hair? Of course, we shed hairs every day. I think they say the average is like 100 hairs that we shed a day. So you are shedding hair and it does stay in the lock um, and it grows out with the lock. But in that, your hair is able to continue to grow because whereas before where your hair might have been breaking off or it would shed and it would fall on the floor and that was it and then you have to start from the beginning. Now when your hair sheds, it's not falling off onto the floor, it's staying within the lock and growing down with the length of the lock. And like I said, you don't just have one hair follicle or one hair strand that has to fend for itself. You have a whole family of them. So, you know, if out of this family of 10 hair strands, if three of them fall off, or break off and they're no longer there you still have seven that are strong and holding it down so these seven are going to keep growing and then when the three that broke off come back they're going to come into that same lock and form and join those other seven so you see you're constantly feeding those new hairs that have broken off or that have fallen off into the locks into the the locks that they're supposed to go into so that's why a lot of times people will say that your length retention that you're able to grow longer hair than you've ever been able to grow before when you have locks all right and the last one that i have on my list that i think is just fascinating and this is one that a couple of flockers were in the comments and they mentioned this and i was like i never even thought of that and mainly it's because i'm a man i've had flockers tell me that since they've had their micro locks their sister locks that they have been able to regrow edges now let me put a disclaimer on this because there are ways you can lose your edges when you have micro locks or sister locks. If you're retightening too often, retightening your locks too tight, then you can put that tension on them and end up having, you know, traction alopecia, your hairline receding, Steve Wonder, uh, all that. So I'm not saying that locks are the salvation to your edges and growing your edges back because you can still make mistakes that keep your edges from growing in. But what I am saying is that if you are treating your hair properly if you are maintaining it on a normal schedule that's not obsessive there could be a possibility that your edges actually have a chance to grow back because you're not constantly manipulating them you're not constantly pulling at them and putting pressure on them you know for someone like me i don't ever put my hair up in styles like once in a blue moon I wouldn't even say once a month, maybe once every six to eight weeks. I know that sounds like my retie schedule, but I might do some flat twist or something in my hair if I'm going somewhere 
or I might do, you know, some type of basket weave or something, but I'm not manipulating my hair much. Um, and so if you're the type that's like me that just let your hair hang down, or maybe you put like one of those elastic bands that's really loose just to hold it back so that they're not in your face, you're giving your hair a chance to just relax. You're giving your hairline a chance to relax. So it's not constant tension and pulling. As a result, your edges may have a chance to grow in. You know, all the like tea tree oil rubs and stuff you're doing in the eucalyptus oil, it has a chance to actually work and grow those hairs back in. I think that is a huge plus and a pro on the list that may not always be so obvious as to why you might want to lock it up get you some micro locks get you some sister locks drop down in the comment section and let me know if there's anything else that you can think of that i did not put on the list today of pros of having micro locks or sister locks i really want to hear from y'all sound off i want to talk back and forth with you y'all flockers are awesome in the comments if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like button so that i know what type of content you are enjoying and also hit the subscribe button so that you can join the flock and before you go anywhere Make sure to check out some of the other videos that have popped up on the screen. I'll see you there.